Find the minimum magnitude of the normal force applied to the inclined plane F such that the block of mass M stays at rest with respect to the inclined plane as shown in the figure. The coefficient of static friction between the block and the inclined plane is mu. The inclined plane does not move. Uh, the gravitational acceleration is g and the second part of the question find the condition for the inclination angle theta for a physical solution so uh, this question is very similar to the one in the first midterm where we had this inside an elevator okay so let's start with a free body diagram for the block with mass m all right so uh, on the figure i can show you here that we have uh, the gravitational force mg uh, pointing down so this is our mg pointing down you can see this angle is a uh, 90 minus theta therefore it's going to make an angle theta with the normal to the inclined plane. So we're going to draw the weight mg pointing down uh, and we have uh, the component of the weight on the axis normal to the plane making an angle theta here. Uh, and for this part we have a force f that is being applied um, in the direction of the normal force so this is our f and of course there will be a contact force normal force which will be applied by the inclined plane on the block and on top of this because this uh, object is t uh, going to fall down or tends to fall down there will be a static friction uh, which will be uh, pointing up the incline. So this will be a force of friction which will be static friction because it will stay at rest uh, and that force will appear here Fs and it will make an angle theta with respect to the horizontal as you can see here. So these are the forces acting on the block. And if I put my uh, y-axis to be the vertical axis, x-axis as the horizontal axis, so x-axis coincides with the inclined plane, y-axis coincides with the normal to the inclined plane. Uh, I can show that here. This is my y-axis, this is my x-axis. And if I write the condition for equilibrium, the net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero. So what are the forces on the y-axis? The normal force F and the component of the weight on the y-axis. So normal force is in j-hat direction. F and mg cosine theta are in minus j hat direction so this should add up to zero therefore the normal force is equal to f plus mg cosine theta the net force on the x-axis must be zero because it's not moving and on the x-axis i have a component uh, you can see here which is mg sine theta which is balanced by the uh, friction force so mg sine theta is in i hat direction and the friction force is in minus i hat direction so i must have static friction equal to mg sine theta so that this stays at rest and i know that the static friction has a maximum value which is the coefficient of friction mu multiplied with the normal force so because the static friction must be balancing mg sine theta i must have mg sine theta less or equal to mu times the normal force which is f plus mg cosine theta all right so 
we can uh, basically write from this uh, inequality that uh, f has to be uh, greater than so mg sine theta over mu minus mg cosine theta okay so mg sine theta divided by mu minus mg cosine theta is less or equal to f so i take the mu to the left hand side and then i subtract mg cosine theta so this gives me a minimum magnitude f minimum uh, so if i take this into mg parentheses mg sine theta minus mu cosine theta divided by mu so this is my answer for the minimum magnitude now the second part <clears throat> for this uh, to be a physical solution what is the condition on the angle theta well what is the minimum force i can apply so for a physical solution i must have f minimum greater or equal to zero which means that sine theta minus mu cosine theta should be greater or equal to zero and that implies if i divide this by cosine theta tangent uh, theta uh, should be greater or equal to mu that's the condition for a physical solution 